What's up crew, it's Chris with Clover Tack and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very popular caliber that's used for small game hunting, varmint hunting, and things like that. Yeah, we're talking about the 17 HMR. Now obviously we are outdoors, we're on the range, we're going to have distractions, we'll just work through them. But for the testing today, going to be using the newly built redneck ballistic apparatus and going to be firing rounds through this savage obviously chambered in 17 hmr this is the model 93r17 got a center point 4 to 16 by 40 aoir scope on top should get it done going to be firing a range of 50 yards now before we get to the testing just a little bit of backstory on the 17 HMR cartridge. It was developed less than two decades ago, back in 2002. The parent case for this is a 22 Winchester Magnum, essentially just neck down to that 17 caliber projectile. And for those out there that might be wondering what the HMR stands for, well, that one is pretty easy. It's gonna be Hornady, Magnum, Rimfire, and now you know. Now, I'm going to be shooting from my barricade again at 50 yards, but before I take a shot at the actual apparatus so that we can collect that projectile and then take a look at it, what I want to do first is I want to set up and I want to fire at a paper target. Got one of our targets from Outdoor Products Plus down the range. Going to fire at that thing first. Going to verify my zero because I don't want to waste ammo and I don't want to damage my apparatus. Before we put any rounds down range, safety first, got my eyes on, gonna put my ear protection in and we can get started. So now let's put a couple of shots down range on the paper, just verify that we've got a good zero and we make this the uh, quickest, easiest test possible. Gonna go for the small diamond in the bottom right hand corner. Here we go. And that was pretty much dead center. Let's put one more just to verify. That was could have been a lucky shot, right? That one was a little bit left, but I felt like I pulled it. I think we're going to be okay to proceed with the actual test and put a couple of rounds into the apparatus. If you're new here on Clover Tech, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button below. And if you want to keep up to date with all the new content, go ahead, click that notification bell as well. Now, I did forget to mention that the ammunition we're going to be testing today is some Federal V-Shock ammunition, which uses a 17 grain projectile, and that is a Hornady V-Max projectile. Pretty common, you're going to find that actually used in a lot of different brands of 17 HMR ammunition. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's put a couple of rounds into that apparatus so we can then collect those projectiles and see what happens. Here we go. One down. And now I'm going to go down range, collect those projectiles, and we'll take a look at them. Just a quick question of the day. Curious what you think about the 17 HMR cartridge. Jump down in the comments below and let me know. Sadly, we're not going to be able to extract any data as far as expansion or weight retention because all I found we're just pieces and fragments. One thing that we are able to tell just simply by the damage on the water jugs here is that that really small, that lightweight projectile at a very high velocity still dumps a lot of energy into the intended target. Hopefully we can revisit the 17 HMR caliber and maybe get a little more data on what that caliber can do. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching, and until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom. Thank <laughs> you.